little and large. Watch out the back end, honey. Yeah, just you go nice and close to the car, actually. Mm -hmm. um, that is this, incorrect. This is Samuel. Samuel! <laughs> Did Tom ever ride horses? Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, what should you do? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Ring a little bell. Videos every, every Tuesday, Tuesday and Friday. And uh, occasionally on Sundays. Two half, half, half two. Half two. Half Come two. my sister. Oh, she should know this. Okay, so we are with Penelope. Uh, Peggy, Penny, whatever you want to call her, we're with Penny. We are going to have a look at the two horses we have on the farm. Just questions for Penny and Penny, just going to have an overall chat about them. Right, let's go. Okay. By Hello. the way, Penny, Penny is a bit of a chatter, so that's why we're, uh, we're going to try and make this video under 10 minutes. Why is that happening? You know. I get it from Dad. Get it from Dad. Everyone knows what he's like. So, the horses live in the farm viewing area, which you'll probably have seen in Tom's videos with the farm shop, things like that. The horses were actually here first, um, but then we developed the area while bringing in the cows, sheep and everything else. People quite like the horses. So if Tom just turns around, they have this quite big wooden structure. It is on wooden um, slits basically, so it can move. The idea is if we needed to, we could move it anywhere around the farm. But they do live here in this quite nice large area. 40 by 12 feet it is. You can see that there's four doors, but if we actually just have a nosy inside, they have all the space they want, and they both live together. Probably better here because the wind's not as bad. So they both live together, they have done that for a few years, they quite like it, they're not really too bothered. They're like they two peas in a pod, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. Just yeah. brothers. One balls if the other's not with them. Yeah. Well, a lot of one does. Yeah. Samuel will have a bit of a cry if he's um, not with his big brother. So yeah, they both live in here. We do what's called skipping out in the morning. I come down before work, move the poos, deep litter, what we call, leave the wet in like you do with your cows, really. It's like a bed. Then every eight, 10 weeks, we'll come in with the Manitou, pull it all out, clean it up. The farmers out there will realize that this does save a bit of straw. We're probably the worst as horsey people to get rid of clean straw. Now we're at the farm, we try and keep it a bit cleaner. Yeah, so what dad does is he beds up with the straw that Penny takes out. Yeah, so the cows get my recycled straw, which, yeah. you know, there's all a bit of recycling out here. Right, should we grab them? Yeah, we'll go and get the boys. They're quite happily grazing at the moment. They graze all day. I'll go and get the barney in. We'll get them. Are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna brush them? Yeah, yeah, we'll have a bit of a groom and then... Groom. We'll brush him. I, I know it's called groom. But uh, yeah, we'll get him in, we'll have a chat and we'll answer some questions which I posted on my Snapchat and my Instagram. Just a couple of questions that people want to answer, so we're going to put those in there. Right, let's grab him. I'm going to take this bag off. Okay. Shine to the camera, Tom. I know. Go on. That one's so much easier to grab than the other one. <laughs> Look, it's like little and large. Look at that. Easy. The second one is so much easier to get with that muzzle on. We'll chat about the muzzle again in a little bit. And he's just going to tie them up. Take his muzzle off. Put that way. There we go. The thing that terrifies me from horses is the back end. And there's so much, uh, what's it called? So much more flighty compared to cows. Like cows, you can entertain them, you can do whatever. Like, I, like I, that's why I'm a, I've got fear of horses, 100%. Like, they're just so fast, you wouldn't even realise if they wanted to kick out. You know, this one's small, this is a better horse, probably. Yeah, that's that's why I don't really like them, I've got a real big fear of them, is they're kicking out the speed of it. And I'm really good with cows, and I know cows, and cows won't really do much. But these guys, different game, isn't it? So this big boy, or I should say big boy, is actually a little horse, is Barney. He is 14 years old. Oh, I got it right, someone asked me today. Did they? Yeah, yeah. they were both actually 14. Oh, I said that, I said that, I said about 14. Yeah, and born within so a well. week of each other, which is a total coincidence. Amazing. Yes, they're actual 14th birthday next week. He is 15 1 in height. The hands is the way that we've always measured horses. One hand is four inches, because they think it's the average of a male hand. If you actually went with hands, he'd be 15 hands tall. Quick math, yeah. 60 inches, boom. Yeah, here to his withers. So it's not actually to the lowest point of him, it's here to his withers, so oh. that's where he's measured to. He is a Connemara breed. He came over from Ireland, I got him when he was five, so quite a youngster. Um, in the horsey world we called him quite green, which means he's not done a lot, not really very well developed, things like that when I got him. He loves life on the farm, 
as you can see he's pretty chilled pretty relaxed we don't have a menage sand paddock here purely simply because i don't think tom would let me put one in um but what we do do is we ride at this side of the farm so it's over there so you know where we let cows out first day yeah. and where the we strip grace at the moment is there. yeah so what tom does for me is he puts the cows out on the other side of the farm in an evening so when i finish work i can ride at this side of the farm but during the day the cows are out here so then people can see them so it kind of works out for everybody as you can see as i'm brushing him now just using a metal comb it is springtime molting season barney does grow quite a big thick winter coat and um, that's a natural instinct for a horse keep themselves warm and um, so at the moment what we're finding is every time i'm brushing there's a lot of hair coming off other people may have clipped you see a lot of horses clipped in the winter this does stop us having to have all this hair but i just choose to leave him natural so it means i get covered in hair at this time of year it's easier as well isn't it? yeah in some respects he has a nice quite long mane long tail he's kept quite natural just a personal preference don't really go out competing with him he doesn't really tend to leave the farm he's literally just for fun so we just ride around here in the little paddock and out on that side of the farm he's just coming to say hello his usual routine is i will give him a hay net in the morning so that he, they do eat a lot of sort of roughage hay grass and then he's out in the field probably from about nine o'clock till about six o'clock yeah, yeah. yeah in the evening so it's quite a nice long day out he'll then come into another hay net at night and what we call a chaff feed so quite a dry grass that's sort of created with vitamins minerals all that sort of thing um, and that's it so he's got quite a boring diet really but he doesn't really need much he doesn't do a lot so he doesn't need high energy feed like you might do for your cow he's quite chilled seems content with me yeah he's still wouldn't go happy. down the back of him though i do think thomas should get on riding one day mm. so if anyone fancies that <laughs> you know maybe put a comment in the video box and we'll get tom on like i trained. think yeah i definitely think this should be a should no. be another video yeah that, that's got to be like some different kind of subscriber hit <laughs> They just terrify me, like, it's just, it, like, this is fine around the head. The head's fine. But even then, it flinched a little bit. Yeah, it's just because you come in with him with a camera. Yeah, I guess so. But, like, cows, like, the chill, there's anything, you can do anything. You can go through the back of a cow. Okay. I've, I've, I've seen the videos. I've seen the guy get kicked in the balls. I've got no chance. Not happened to me. So he's pretty chill. We, oh, I ride, probably, try and get on three, four times a week in the summertime from about April to November. I tend to try and get to ride through the winter because we've not got a sand paddock. I am limited. He quite likes that. He gets switched off in the winter. Yeah. So. Other things. If we go round to Samuel, I'll tell you a little bit about him. Watch out the back end, Yeah, just if you go nice and close, you can't actually kiss him. Um, that is so incorrect. <laughs> this is Samuel. Samuel! <laughs> he is a little Shetland pony. Um, he actually measures at 32 inches, so eight hands. He's eight hands. He's piebald in colour, as you can see, because he is black and white, so that's the colouring of a horse. It's called a piebald. Never knew that. Yeah. Barney is classed as a grey. He was a lot darker when he first came. He's going white in his old age. He will go white, white. Um, he might still stay a bit dark around his legs, but he is a grey. But Samuel is a piebald. No, well, he otherwise. came first, didn't he? Yeah, he came first. Um, he was with us for about eight months before we got Barney. Barney came. They were good together, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was loads better. And also, he quite likes being here. I have had them both on stable yards before, which was great. There is definitely benefits of stable yards. You've got the other people there. You've got the facilities. Legs. Yeah, some paddocks. Definitely going to drop that one in. Definitely think we need one. Um, but at the same time, these two are really suited to being here on the farm now. They've been here four years, I think. Yeah. Um, so they do quite like it. They've got their yards, they've got their stable, they've got their grass. So it's quite fun. Samuel does suffer with laminitis, which is a feet disease, basically. A disease in the foot. That's, which that's is... what comes across. That's what nicely is one of the questions that was asked. Oh, uh, was it? What is, why do we have the muzzle on? Yeah, so he wears the purple muzzle, which you'll have seen earlier in the video. The reason for that is to limit his grazing. Um, he first had laminitis about six years ago. Uh, it means he has box rest and bute, which is an anti-inflammatory, just to help his feet and restricted grazing. So the vet suggested rather than maybe only 20 minutes out a day, he could go out for longer periods if we muzzle him. Yeah. So that's what it's we've done ever since. You send them both out, don't you? Yeah, and I think it's a lot nicer to him. I don't think I'd like to hold him for 20 minutes a day. Yeah. When they're on winter grazing and there's not a lot of grass, we can get away with not muzzling him and um, but it's much better for him to be muzzled during the day so that's why he wears one but he doesn't really seem to mind he okay. tries to get it off we'll see yeah he's uh he doesn't like but he doesn't have it on back then he loves it yeah he yeah the dream. he loves a day out without his muzzle on he's very typical little pony syndrome stubborn as anything if he wants 
wants to be your best friend if he wants to be so if he's quite happy to stand there and let you groom all day if he really doesn't want any attention he is off and you've got no chance so see ya yeah but the vet actually told me that a carrot is like a mars bar to a horse so you imagine three or four carrots a day then anything is going to put weight on so obviously because we do try and limit how much weight samuel puts on in the year so we are really conscious of that neither of them have carrots often they do have them as a treat just like you and i would have a mars bar without a doubt definitely a treat just checking the shots again sorry guys but um <laughs> what we do try and limit him feed so we don't feed them every day people do which is fine it's just with samuel's weight yeah samuel because he can get short and fat but barney's all right oh yeah barney could eat absolutely anything i can't fill him he literally could eat absolutely as much as he wants but um because of samuel we kind of have a nice balance between the two Amazing. first question was from callum what do you do with the horses? Kind of answered it. Yeah, just pleasure ride really. Oh, Barney's giving you some kisses there, Tom. Yeah. Just pleasure ride round the farm. That's because I enjoy them really. So not a lot. Just anything fancy. Right, next question is, did Tom ever ride horses? No. 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 We do think, Des and I definitely are trying to get him on. We think if we put a petition on his videos that you guys out there we might be able to persuade him. So if we get enough likes or comments, then maybe I should film him. This is, this is a random question. Yeah. Did your sister suffer with the equine flu much? I didn't, no. Good question. Yeah, yeah. no, we didn't. Oh, Charlie Pugh. The boys are actually getting their flu jabs tomorrow when the vet comes to the bet, farm. Bet they tomorrow? Yeah, so they get their annual flu jabs um, anyway. But no, we didn't have any problems, luckily. Like I say, because the boys don't leave the farm much and have a contact with other horses, there's less chance of um, that contamination sort of thing to get against them. And how often do you change his shoes? He doesn't have shoes. Neither of them have shoes. What well, they don't have? So they have their. So they don't. Horses can either go barefoot, which is what my two are, yeah. or have metal shoes. So they don't have metal shoes on. They don't have metal shoes on. Never do this. Oh, you, you, you're gonna get a foot. Wish I it's could do that. It's very dirty feet, but but he has no metal shoes on at all. Amazing. So he's he's totally barefoot. Some stones from the thing, and so is. Samuel, the reason why he's barefoot is because I don't do much hacking. The main road the farm is on is quite busy. Yeah, he won't want to go down that. So he? he doesn't need to. And also the hardcore that he has here will just naturally wear down his feet enough, but not too much that he would need the support of the metal shoes. Barney's breeding also makes him his feet very hardy. So the farrier suggested he doesn't need shoes. Oh, amazing, that's quite great. Bill. Yeah, so the farrier comes every eight weeks. Um, if they have shoes on, they tend to do four to six weeks because the feet can move and the shoes need replacing more often. Yeah. But because Barney wears down, and Samuel, both of them, they wear down their feet naturally, they can go that little bit longer. So he comes every eight weeks. All four feet, obviously, are done on both of them. Um, yeah, Barry the farrier, he comes. And he was great, actually, when Samuel first got laminitis, him and the vet worked together, worked with me because it was the first time I'd had it, a pony with laminitis. And they helped me out, obviously came to see him, made sure everything was okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really good. It's really great when you've got people like that, you can um, that, sort of like, con doing. yeah, and just have a, another opinion, another pair of hands and um, you can call on to. So yeah, the vet and the family is really important. Uh, next question is, how often do you wash them? Or do you wash them? Do you wash them? Yeah, they tend to, <laughs> they tend to have like their spring and summer bath. Um, is that when it rains? <laughs> no, we do get the hose pipe and a good shampoo. Obviously through the winter we want to keep their natural oils in to keep them warm, keep their coat, so that through the winter months we don't um, bath them. Obviously if you're competing and things like that, you can bath them all the time and book yeah. them up to keep them warm. But my two, probably twice a year really, maybe three times, it just depends. But we try, again try to keep them quite natural. So um, yeah, good old hose pipe uh, wash they get in the field, which Barney actually likes drinking water from the hose pipe. So, oh, um, cool, that'd be funny just, to watch. You can literally just put the hose pipe to his mouth and he'll have a good drink out of the hose pipe. So, oh. yeah, yeah, they're both quite they're all right with that. Oh, cool, amazing. Right, well, I think we've we've answered a lot of the questions we've already answered when we were in it. So, uh, when we were mooching around, having a look yeah. around and what they do in their lives. Penny, you are also doing Hit It In. The Three Peaks there Challenge. There we go. Yeah, we definitely. Finish the video. Yeah, finish the video. Right. <laughs> My husband Des, again, uh, and our two best friends and also the butcher in the farm shop decided it would be a great idea to attempt the National Three Peaks Challenge. What is um, it? So we are walking up three peaks in Scotland, England and Wales. We're doing it all within 24 hours, the whole idea. So we... Ginger Warrior is your... Um... Yeah, support vehicle, obviously, Ginger Warrior. Um, so he's going to drive, we're going to walk. 
he will sleep while we walk and we sleep while he drives that's kind of the idea uh, yeah 24 hours one weekend in July for two great charities and um, the Northwest Ambulance, Air Ambulance and Sane, the mental charity. So I've got a Just Giving page. Hopefully Tom will be able to share it. You'll see some yep, things. I'll put it in. The, yeah, three peaks, 24 hours, five people. Great yep. shout. That's, so, that, that's the idea. So that was just going to be, I just remembered that when we were just finishing. So that's going to be at the end of this video. But what we'll do is we'll come back to you and we might just do a video about it completely because it's for charity and uh, we'll try and support it as best we can. Obviously, with my bit of following, I'll try and help with that because I think it's pretty good what you're doing. So it's yes. amazing. Guys, again, thank you very much for watching the video. Three Peaks Challenge, I'll put the link in below. So if you want to just follow the page currently. Yeah, yeah we've got a Facebook on, page going. Facebook page. Yeah. On the, you'll be doing updates of when you are there. Yeah, we're doing some walker profiles. We've done some practice walks. So we're putting some videos on about that, pictures on about that. So over the next few weeks, you'll see more and more activity going on. Uh, it's really new at the moment, but yeah. And then uh, we'll push amazing. it. Amazing. Yeah, if July. you can support that, that'd be really good. It'd be amazing. Again, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to get some TP merch, get it at pemsesfarmshop.co.uk. Just brought out some new hats as well, black hat with a white emblem, which is, I just, if you are following me on Instagram and Snapchat, I'll probably be wearing it on holiday. It looks really, really cool. So I think it's a little bit different. So I think, I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have that online when I am on holiday. So check that out. Guys, thank you very much. And we'll see you later. Barney, Samuel. Oh, no. They Dad. don't like me. Oh, you're there! Hey guys, thank you very much for being in my video. Thank you. <laughs> Friends. Friends. See ya.